know where we're going. To the end of the world, baby. The end of the world. To the end of the world. Yep, and when you think of traveling to the end of the world, you might picture a dark, bleak, desolate kind of place. But in reality, this is what you'll find. Welcome to Ushuaia, the southernmost city in the world and the jumping off point for all kinds of incredible adventure. We hit town after flying in from Calafate and spent the first few hours walking around town and checking the place out. And we were surprised that despite its location and the fact that the weather here can change from nice to nasty in the blink of an eye, Ushuaia is a vibrant, bustling, colorful city. So what do you think of Ushuaia? And our room at the Hotel Tierra de Leyendas was absolutely the perfect place to relax and recharge for the busy day we had in store. We are waiting on the van to come pick us up. We're headed to Tierra del Fuego National Park for a full day of trekking and canoeing and exploring and uh, getting to know this beautiful area. And it's a beautiful day. There's not a breath of wind so far, so uh, knock on wood. Let's hope it stays that way. And something tells me this is our ride. So we set out with our group and our guides to the Tierra del Fuego National Park, the southernmost national park in the world, which is just a short drive, but a world away from Ushuaia. Our day began on the shores of a lake, the Lago Roca. Am <laughs> I grunting like an old man already? Yeah, you are. We ain't even started where we gracefully slipped into wetsuits. <laughs> got some last minute instructions from our guide. And your arms are going to turn because And set off to explore the park by canoe. We're about to get on the canoe. We're super excited. Do I always say I'm super excited? We're always pretty excited. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a lot of exciting things happening. <laughs> the paddling was easy. The conditions were perfect, and the scenery along the way was just gorgeous. It's so quiet. It's like we're the only ones in the park. <laughs> and we're sandwiched in between Italians and Canadians. <laughs> we're trapped. <laughs> we're trapped. <laughs> it's like being between Chileans and Brazilians. <laughs> By the time we came out of the water, we learned that we had reached the end of the road, literally. So uh, a lot of things come to an end here at the end of the world, including the Pan American Highway, which runs from Alaska all the way down here and ends right here at this spot in Tierra del Fuego. Uh, Alaska says it's 17,848 kilometers, which using my lousy American math is... 20, 30 miles, something like that? <laughs> Close. Right. Yeah. Very cool. Equally as cool, check out the private lunch they had waiting for us. We have the cook over here preparing the meal. Hola. <laughs> Hola. And look how awesome this is. And wine. How can you not have wine after you've done all that paddling, we right? We better go get some wine. <laughs> And between the great wine, the great food, and the great company, Salud. lunch was an awesome break in the middle Cheers. of an active day. But then it was time again to get going. What's going on? What do you think? So they fed us a wonderful lunch, fed us lots of great wine, and um, now they're making us walk it off. <laughs> so come on. There are worse places to do that. Oh, oh my Okay. <laughs> Too much wine. <laughs> Too, Too much, much wine. wine. We better go. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. It's a great, great hike. Come on. We spent the afternoon hiking five miles along one of the park's most popular and most scenic trails. Stopping along the way to sample some local grub. You, you're pretty sure it's okay for him to eat it? Okay. <laughs> this is part of a larger plan to do away with me. Your flaw. Down the hat. Oh, they're psychedelic, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And of course, to enjoy the incredible natural beauty this area is so famous for. The really cool thing is, when the hike is over, you arrive here at the southernmost post office anywhere in the world. So if you want to send a postcard, 
or get your passport stamped. They'll do that here for you. It's a cool place. We should have yeah. brought our postcards. We could have sent those off from here. That would have been really cool. I mean, what are we thinking on We're this just screwing trip? this whole thing up. <laughs> but, Good uh, hike. High yeah. five. High five. Let's go back to town. All right. Dry off. Once you get back to town, you'll probably be in the mood to eat again. And the locals have something special to cure your hunger. So when it comes to eating here in Ushuaia, they're known for their seafood, obviously. But they're known for one dish in particular, and that's king crab. And we hear this place is the place to get it. My mouth is watering, so let's go. There are lots of ways to get your king crab in Ushuaia, and lots of places to get it. But we found that La Casa de los Mariscos is hands down one of the best. Chunky king crab in a Parmesan garlic sauce? <laughs> yes, please. So huge pieces of king crab. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish you could taste this right now. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so yeah, we had a full couple of days here. Exploring a new city, getting in touch with nature, eating great food, and drinking lots of great wine. Who would have thought life would be so good at a place called the end of the world?